Welcome to this special edition of Hannity, Standing Up for American Values. I'm Judge Jeanine Pirro, in tonight for Sean. Democrats continue to spin in a million different directions as their destructive agenda continues to fail in every corner of the country. And it's getting so bad and so disconnected from the American people that they're trying to rewrite history. For example, just look at liberal darling Stacey Abrams, who is now trying to claim she was never opposed to voter ID and says she is actually backing Democratic Senator Joe Manchin's voting reform efforts. But Stacey, we have the tape. Compare what she's saying now to what she said just months ago. Take a look. Just give me a list of the provisions that you objected. It shortens the federal runoff period from nine weeks to four weeks. Okay. It restricts the time a voter can request and return an absentee ballot application. Right. It requires that a voter have a photo identification or some other form of identification that they're willing to surrender in order to participate in the absentee ballot um, process. That's one of the fallacies of Republican talking points that have been deeply disturbing. No one has ever objected to having to prove who you are to vote. It's been part of our nation's history since the inception of voting. And it gets even worse for Abrams. As one New York Times writer is pointing out, her new position is eerily similar to the Georgia voting law that she adamantly opposed and called Jim Crow 2.0 and that Biden called Jim Eagle. Remember this? This makes Jim Crow look like Jim Eagle. I mean, this is gigantic. So, Joe and Stacy, what changed? Could this dramatic turnaround be taking place because Abrams and the rest of her far-left socialist cabal see the writing on the wall and know that Americans of all races and all walks of life overwhelmingly support voter ID? Because, get this, now even Democratic Senator George, uh, a Democratic Senator from Georgia, Raphael Warnock, is falsely claiming that he never opposed voter ID. So yet again, Democrats are not telling the truth, lying over and over again and destroying whatever credibility they had left all along the way. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.